under the independent, okay, so independent assumption for the population. So you will have the variance P1 hat plus variance P2 hat. So make sure you don't make mistake every so for the variance here. Although this is a negative sign, you know, so okay, this is a negative and this is a negative now. That doesn't make any sense. So basically, in, if you actually uh, 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 know this one, so basically, you actually should be able to figure out what is the variance of this under the independent assumption, okay? So this is not plus. So make sure you understand that there's no difference. If you actually have this one, the plus, but we deal with, with difference, okay? So this is, again, this one. This is the same. So basically, the variance of this guy is the same as the variance of this guy, okay? So uh, this one, and because of this guy, the variance is what we know is that this is the this pi one to pi n divided by n one, right? The value of this one is the pi one to pi divided by n two. Since we don't know the pi, we estimate the pi by the common estimate with the p bar. So therefore, the, this variance total will be equal to the pi, you know, this number from p, p bars one to p bars, and then one divided by n one and one divided by n two. So this is the variance. That's why we actually you have a simple error, which is equal to this. Okay, so this is exactly the ones that you see in the denominator.